Thank you for choosing the iSpring CRO2000 Commercial Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System. With proper installation and maintenance, this water filtration system will provide you with clean and refreshing drinking water for years to come. Please follow the instructions in the video for proper installation procedures. Before we begin, please make sure your water pressure is in the range of 40 to 70 PSI for optimal use. If your water pressure is higher than 70 PSI, a pressure regulator may be needed. Carefully read the Important User Information section in the User Manual. Ensure that all parts listed were included in the package your RO system arrived in and verify that you have all the required tools ready. System Assembly Step 1. Unwrap and take out the machine head. Lean the machine head sideways with the screen facing upwards and screw the frame pillars clockwise into the machine head. Ensure the pillars with holes are installed on the rear side of the system. Step 2. Use the M8 screws and washers to fasten the frame base to the pillars from the bottom. Step 3. Use the M6 screws to attach the wheels to the frame base. Press down the brakes to lock the wheels. Step 4. Remove the membrane housing caps at the membrane water inlet end using a slotted screwdriver. Unwrap and insert the RO membranes into the housing. Ensure the water flow direction mark on the membrane is correct. Verify the O-rings unlubricated. Reinstall the housing caps and brackets. Step 5. Use the M6 screw sets to attach the membrane housing to the rear frame pillars. Step 6. Unwrap the filters and insert them into the filter housings. Screw the filter housings counterclockwise onto the filter housing caps in the correct order. Use the housing wrench to tighten the housing with another quarter to half of a turn. Do not over tighten as this may make filter replacement difficult. Step 7. Insert the tubing half an inch deep into the machine head connectors. Connect the water inlet and outlet tube assembly to the membrane housing caps. Ensure the fittings are inserted all the way into the connectors. Insert locking clips into all connectors. The system assembly is now complete. Installation Step 1. Connect a cold water line to the system 3 quarter inch water inlet connector. Step 2. Insert the 3 8 inch tubing half an inch deep into the water outlet. Measure and cut the tubing. Connect the other end of the tubing to your desired application. In this video, we will demonstrate with a drinking water faucet. A converter fitting may be needed. Step 3. Insert the 3 8 inch tubing half an inch deep into the drain port. Insert locking clips into all connectors. Connect the drain tube to a drain. The installation is now complete. System Startup Step 1. Turn on the water supply and plug in the power. The system will turn on with a beep and initiate an 18-second auto flush. Please note that the system is preset to perform auto flush every 6 hours. Ensure there are no leaks at all connections. Step 2. After the auto flush is completed, turn on the drinking water faucet and let the water run for 20 minutes. The pressure gauge on the left indicates the inlet water pressure. The pressure gauge on the right indicates the water pressure of the RO membrane, which suggests the condition of the filters. If the system is connected to an ice maker or coffee machine that feeds water automatically, do not let the flush water enter these machines. An optional three-way T-fitting with valves is needed to direct the flush water to a drain. Please repeat this step every time the filter is replaced, and do not consume the water until the flush is completed. Filter Replacement Each filter has a different replacement schedule. Please replace the filters accordingly. Step 1. Shut off the water supply and turn on the drinking water faucet to release pressure from inside the system. 
If the system is connected to an ice maker or coffee machine that feeds water automatically, an optional three-way T-fitting with valves is needed to release pressure and direct the flushing water to a drain. Step two, unplug the power. Use the housing wrench to remove all three filter housings from the system by turning them clockwise. Be prepared to catch water with a towel or a bucket. Remove and dispose of the expired filters. Step three, unwrap and insert the new filters into their housings. Ensure the housing O-rings are properly seated to prevent leaks. Step four, twist housings counterclockwise onto the housing caps. Use the housing wrench to tighten the housing with another quarter to half of a turn. Do not over-tighten, as this may make filter replacement difficult. Step 5. Turn on the water supply and plug in the power. The system will turn on with a beep and initiate an 18-second auto flush. Step 6. After the auto flush is completed, turn on the drinking water faucet and let the water run for 20 minutes. Please repeat this step every time the filter is replaced, and do not consume the water until the flush is completed. Membrane Replacement Step 1. Shut off the water supply and turn on the drinking water faucet to release pressure from inside the system. If the system is connected to an ice maker or coffee machine that feeds water automatically, an optional three-way T-fitting with valves is needed to release pressure and direct the flushing water to a drain. Step 2. Unplug the power. Remove locking clips on the fittings of the membrane water inlet end and remove the tubing assembly from the membrane housing cap. Step 3. Disassemble the membrane housing brackets and remove housing caps at the membrane water inlet end using a slotted screwdriver. Be prepared to catch water with a towel or a bucket. Remove and dispose of the expired filters. Unwrap and insert new RO membranes into the housing. Ensure the water flow direction mark on the membrane is correct. Reinstall the housing caps and brackets. Step 4. Reconnect the tubing assembly into membrane housing cap and insert locking clips. Step 5. Turn on the water supply and plug in the power. The system will turn on with a beep and initiate an 18-second auto flush. Step 6. After the auto flush is completed, turn on the drinking water faucet and let the water run for 20 minutes. Please repeat this step every time the membranes are replaced and do not consume the water until the flush is completed. Congratulations, your iSpring reverse osmosis system installation is now complete. You can now enjoy clean and refreshing water. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you.